The designers of these gardens have created areas that provide a secluded retreat, whether from neighbors, other people in the household, or simply the urban environment. See how designers have carved out peaceful, leafy nooks in different zones in these modest outdoor spaces. There are two key elements in this small paved garden that give its dining area a sense of privacy. High brick bed at the back of the garden helps to enclose the zone. This is boosted by the high boundary wall topped with trellis, as well as established trees, screening out the neighbors behind. The area is also sunken and surrounded by a low, circular wall, broken up by steps down into the eating area. There are multiple layers of planting across the garden, which add depth of vision from inside the eating space. Wildflower meadow planting, a meandering path, wisteria, foxgloves, the gentle tinkle of water just out of sight. Looking at the plot here, from above, you can see a large L-shaped sofa in the top left-hand corner and a comfy chair to catch some rays top right. On the patio at the other side of the shed, there's a bench surrounded by leaves and screened by a flowering dogwood tree behind it. The final seating area is a small table and chairs, just seen in the foreground. In this elegant outdoor area, there's an interesting and shady stroll on stepping stones across a pond then beneath trees to reach a raised deck at the end of the garden. The court and steel lampposts cast a gentle glow over what could be used as a dining area or a relaxed seating spot. Additional trees planted in front of the deck add screening and a sense that this is a discreet part of the garden, tucked away out of sight. When designers work on a garden, they may make use of established trees within the space, but will also work to incorporate those beyond its boundaries. Here, the tall trees towering above the wall on the right are on the other side of it, as is the greenery rising up behind the back fence. These borrowed features help to create the sense of a private and enclosed space. Part of the brief to designer Joanne Bernstein of Joanne Bernstein Gardens was to include a lawn in this square urban garden, so the owner's grandchildren could play on it. Nevertheless, she managed to fit in two seating zones at the back of the space. The one on the left is particularly secluded, almost within its own outdoor room, thanks to a combination of hornbeam and yew hedging used to divide the garden into discrete spaces and provide winter structure. As seen already, plants can provide as much seclusion as a wall or fence and have the benefit of potentially allowing some light through. That's certainly the case with grasses, to section off the dining table in this garden. Here, both the dining area and an adjacent comfy seating area benefit from its use as a dividing wall between them. The dining table is almost completely hidden when viewed from the house and the sofa zone. Thanks for watching my video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports our channel. Well, see you in the next videos.